everybody, Sightless Senshi here. Um, so what we're doing here is obviously I'm not playing, this is a recording of a previous clip, uh, a previous bit of gameplay, uh, where Kelsey and I defeated, what was his name, Katora? Mm -hmm. So what we did here and what I want to show you guys is how we did this fight. Um, so basically uh, what we have is a device called a crosshair and it connects the two controllers. So I have mine here, Kelsey you've got yours. Yep. And what we do is we're controlling the same character with these controllers. Kelsey handles movement, dodging, etc. And I handle the uh, stabby stabby and slashy slashy and heal E, I guess. <laughs> I do the healing the, the, and the combat is what I'm trying to say. Um, so basically um, what we have going on here is she'll move around and what she's gonna do is she'll tell me, you know, attack or go. And then when we need to stop attacking for a minute, she's gonna tell me hold or basically, yeah, hold or you're good or stop. And that allows me to move or around. Him. Or got him. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Got him. Uh, <laughs> that's a good point. That's a good one, too. Um, or they're dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that allows me to dodge or, or, like, to attack and, you know, allows her to do things like dodging and movement. Whereas I can attack and then stop when it's appropriate, especially if she needs to dodge out of an AoE or anything like that. Hold is good for that because she'll tell me hold and then I stop so that she can roll back out of an AoE or something to that effect. For him to chase the bastard down. Yeah, or even to mm -hmm. chase this asshole down, because he's pretty mobile, isn't he? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. The thing is, you wouldn't expect him to be, because he's some, like, from my understanding and from the way he sounds, he's some, like, Jabba the Hutt-looking motherfucker. Mm -hmm. um, Big-ass Slowed, which, I mean, that's that's already an attractive name right there. <laughs> Slowed. But, um, so yeah, he's weirdly mobile for a fat guy. Um... So that is, you know, that's a thing. So sometimes we have to... Also dealing with ads, too. Especially, like, what are those fucking things called? The spewers? Yeah, the... Fucking Yagra hate the... Spewers. Yagra spewers. Yeah, because we have to then avoid their sputum. Which... Ew. Sputum. <laughs> so that's basically what's going on here, is she's guiding me through attacking. She's guiding me through not attacking when it's appropriate, and most importantly, she's telling me when to heal. Because you can see, this guy can pack a bit of a wallop, as can his little asshole buddies when he brings them in. Um, so she has to tell me when to heal, and I, it's up to me to, like, govern our stats and so on and so forth. And especially when things pop up, like, just popped up with, like, block and, like, crowd control, exploit. Yeah, you've got to let, she'll tell me those things. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise I don't know, hey, hit R2, hold R2 to do an exploit, or, you know, I would just do a heavy attack. Um, so, or a light attack or a whatever. But, you know, if I hold R2 when it says exploit, then I get the exploit. So she can tell me hold, or, uh, or she can tell me, like, exploit, or crowd control, then I know to do the break free, or whatever. And that can be really helpful. Yeah. It's the difference between playing and not playing. And because, like, it's so fast-paced, something that I think really helps us is having, like, a one word thing. Hold, go, stuff like that. Crowd. Like, yeah, crowd, one syllable things. Or exploit, I guess, is two, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Don't judge us, we're winning. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, one word, not one syllable. That's true, I was the one who overcomplicated it. Yes. <laughs> so how are we doing in the fight here? How, how far along are we? We're getting there, we're getting there. Cool, cool, I want to make sure that since that we end at the appropriate time so I'm not mid-sentence when this track ends. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know when it's coming up. Okay, cool, sounds good. Um, but yeah, so uh, as you can see, I think we're performing pretty well so far. Um, you know, he does get us down a little bit sometimes, and he lands a, you know, a handful of hits, but I think we're pretty good at like healing and coming back from that. That's yeah, um, where things got really dicey. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is, this is when things got kind of intense, yeah? Yep. I do remember that toward the end of the fight, or toward like the middle to end-ish, things were getting like, whew, holy crap, there was a lot of stuff going on at once. And of mm -hmm. course what I've got to do, I took the sound out of this so you can hear us, um, but when I'm playing I have to listen for the sounds, especially like when I use the deadly cloak, it makes a boosh, boosh sound every time it hits somebody, so that lets me know when he's in range. If I hear that sound, that ksh, of deadly cloak connecting repeatedly, then I know our guy, or at least an enemy, is near range, and then I can pop out biting jabs, heavy attack, uh, uh, backlash, etc. So that cloak is actually, deadly cloak is really useful as like a proximity alarm for when an enemy is nearby. That's actually why I like keeping it up so much. Yeah. Without the fact that it's just great AoE on anyone. It's my get off me button. <laughs> like, get the fuck off me button. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So yeah, our slowed we're slowly whittling him down, but the thing is we're you know, we're doing this totally solo and the main attacker being blind, I think is pretty cool that we're still able to do this working together, you know? You can yeah. guide me and I can stab. Yeah, I really just do navigating. You point me in the direction and say kill, and yeah. then things die. All right, we're coming up on the end of our fight here. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and peace out, bitches!